Hey guys, it's me, Ivy Studios, and I am back again with another LEGO Star Wars video for you guys. And today we're going to be taking a look at the 2021 March Wave sets. As you can see, we got three sets coming out in March. Super, super exciting. We've got full HD pictures now. Um, and yeah, I believe these are up on LEGO.com. Um, so we've got the first we've got the imperial shuttle coming and then we've also got the x-wing and then we've got the new micro fighter set so starting off small with the micro fighter set um it's gonna retail for 24 dollars as per usual we're getting a brand new luke figure uh with uh different face printing and uh like a white uh scarf almost kind of piece um and then you can see here we've also got stud shooters which is something different for micro fighters the builds in this set are amazing and i am pretty happy with it moving on we've got seven five two nine seven this is the resistance x-wing um four plus set uh this is actually surprising to me first off it's a recolor of the old one you can really tell they changed out a couple pieces um you get Poe Dameron and BB-8, which is kind of cool. I don't actually have this Poe Dameron minifigure, so maybe I'll go out and get it, but very unlikely. Um, but cool box art, definitely can recommend that. And I understand why they're doing this. This is, uh, you can even see on the back there, like this is to learn how to build these kind of sets. And it helps to have a $24 X-Wing on the shelves and a $60 X-Wing on the shelves because it's easier for kids to be like, hey, I want an X-Wing. And then there's this $24 one for the little kids and a $60 one for the older like 12 to 10 range i guess uh but yeah it's a decent build uh you can see they kind of they use like the old blaster pieces on the side and the minifigures are nice of course we've got poe dameron uh and bb8 and yeah that's about it for that set and then moving on we've got set 75302 this is the imperial shuttle uh imperial shuttle I guess is what the name is, but it should really be the Imperial Shuttle Tidarium. And got the Death Star in the back, some explosions. Really nice box art. This one's going to include three minifigures, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, and some sort of transport guy or, or pilot, I guess, for this set. Again, very nice box art with the Darth Vader at the top. Uh, the Imperial Shuttle looks really good. Uh, it looks a little funny underneath the nose, but I think overall it looks good, and I'm super excited to pick one up. Also, kind of a disappointment that we're not getting an extra Stormtrooper, um, but I've heard that the interior space is not very... It's very minimal, as you can see in there. Um, I think you can fit two figures in the front, though, it looks like, which is good. Um, and it does look fairly big. I know it's going to be smaller than everyone's going to expect, but it does look a little bit bigger than what I thought. And obviously, the back of the box art is actually really cool with that, like, inside of the Death Star look there. Uh, and you can see some of the other play features, like the things that fold back and whatnot. Uh, and then you can see the three minifigures, the Peace Breaker, and the set just sitting there. Um, it looks really nice. I think on one of those, like, I display it stands, I'll link them in the description below, this set would look really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely planning on at least picking up one, possibly two, because Shuttle Tidarium is really cool, and, uh, to have a second one would be really awesome. Uh, like, grow the Imperial Army, but, yeah, that is about it for this set. Um, taking a closer look at the minifigures, you can see there Darth Vader, Luke, and uh, the Imperial pilot. So, first off, Luke Skywalker has the correct lightsaber. Uh, it does look like a darker green than usual, but I doubt that's that's not the case. They wouldn't have changed that, I don't think. Um, but it does look like a dark green lightsaber there. We've got all three figures wearing these like black suits, uh, which I kind of like. Um, Luke Skywalker looks really good. I haven't gotten a Luke like this. Kind of a weird hairpiece design, but whatever. Um, and then Darth Vader is just the regular Darth Vader that we've been seeing a while. I don't think he has arm printing. Yeah, no arm printing on Darth Vader. But yeah, overall, great figure selection. You can see the guy has the little blaster. But yeah, that are the those are the three sets coming out this March for 2021. Super exciting. And if you guys did enjoy this little news video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and check out my channel for other awesome LEGO Star Wars videos. But bye for now.